Kids, 13 children in our family brought up by my grandparents because, well, my own parents, they ran away from home when I was about six. <laughs> <laughs> Left us there for the grandparents. They showed no favoritism. They hated every one of us. <laughs> so they did, particularly me, I don't know why. <laughs> I went up to my grandfather one morning and I said, Granda, make a noise like a frog. He said, what? I said, make a noise like a frog. He said, why in the name of the devil would I make a noise like a frog? I said, Granny says when you croak, we're all going to Disneyland. <laughs> He's still alive, the old buggers. <laughs> there was 13 of us and the grandparents in a two-bedroom government housing unit in Balamina, in Northern Ireland. The grandparents in one room and the 13 of us in the other. When it came time to go to bed, the race was on. Up the stairs, dive onto the mattress, grab a piece of a sheet or a blanket and just hang on. I never slept alone until I got married. <laughs> a lot of you know what I'm talking about. We were a poor family. There wasn't too much to go around on special days, holidays, and birthdays. It was always hand-me-downs. Always hand-me-downs. Sadly for me, the the next one up for me was my sister, Margaret. <laughs> one day, one day I went to school, I was wearing the exact same dress as the teacher. <laughs> and I don't know who was more embarrassed, me or him. <laughs> Fool. They both passed on, God rest them, 